Yo, <clears throat> lovely cookie. I have some um, tips for you. I have something that I want to give you and share with you that will help you to get even stronger in your belief in this stuff. In the God is our own wonderful human imagination, we create everything inside of us. What we see out in the world right now is an echo of our previous thoughts and beliefs. So the first thing that I wanted to say is keep on keeping on um, because I know that sometimes it can be pretty challenging to stay on that path and to keep believing when you don't see certain things show up and you're like, yeah, but I've been thinking about this so much. Why isn't it showing up? Well, there are tons of videos that explain why that is. That is not what this video is about. This video is about how do you keep the faith? How do you keep the faith? First of all, realize that you have to build trust and faith. You do that, you do that by repetition. Think of a baby. When a baby or a toddler learns how to walk, and it doesn't work the first couple of times, do you say to that baby, you, you never, you will never ever be able to walk. You're actually sorry. I'm sorry. You're a bit of a dumb baby. Just give it up. This won't work. No, you give it time and you give it patience and you give it love and you laugh because it's also funny to watch a little toddler like stumbling around and then getting up and then sitting on his pampers and getting up again. So treat yourself like a baby or a toddler or a puppy that's learning how to walk because that's what we're doing. We're learning how to walk and then how to fly with this stuff in the end. <clears throat> Another thing that really helps me is watch videos of people that I trust and that I know are further than me that have that trust already super ingrained and that breathe it and live it on a minute to minute base, uh, like Joseph Ally, like um, Nevolution, uh, Lila is her name. She recently posted a really good video. And what I'll do, I'll make a playlist um, building beliefs, I will call it building beliefs, and I'll put the videos in there that really help me, and it's going to be uh, public, so you can just add it to your own playlists and watch these videos. I would recommend watching it on a daily basis until you really, really feel the trust, like, yeah, I've got this, because you do. And then lastly, I want to share two really cool manifestations, conscious manifestations, and the fun thing is, is that at the moment, um, actually, to be honest, it has been going like that for, for a long time, forever, actually. But anyway, so I have some uh, manifestations that are super conscious that I work on and that show up. And I have other things that I just fleetingly think about and then they happen. And one of them happened today. So I've been working out a lot. And I really love it. I do uh, Kayla It's in his BBG program, um, Bikini Body Guide is the name, I believe. And um, if you don't know it, look it up. Um, if you like to exercise as well and you love to be strong and fit, then you have to do this because it busts you up. You sweat like a pig and it's so nice and you get stronger really quickly. But anyway, I digress. So... Um, I'm really into exercising and sports and yoga and fitness and uh, whatever. Um, and I've been checking this girl called Fit Girl Mel on Instagram. And I love her story. And somewhere I saw that she told about... She wasn't really planning on being... She's actually Kim Kardashian's trainer. She wasn't planning on being um, a celebrity, celebrity trainer at all. Uh, Kim Kardashian just came to her because of the posts she made and when I read that I thought that's so cool oh yeah also 
also, uh, she was working as a waitress and then people would come up to her in the restaurant where she was working before she became a personal trainer. Like, wow, you look so fit. What do you do? Can you maybe train me? And I was thinking about that. I thought, hmm, wouldn't it be cool if people would ask me to help them to work out, to train? I wasn't manifesting. I was just thinking, wouldn't it be cool? And what do you know today? This is like, I don't know, when did I have this thought? Five days ago, a week ago? I don't know, something like that. Today, I finished my day two, week four. And I was like huffing and puffing and sweating. And um, I always do kind of a little more after my practice. And I wanted to go into a handstand. And this lady comes up to me and she says, uh, Hi, um, I always see you train. And I think it's so cool what you do. Can I maybe train with you sometime? And I thought, what the? What? This is so funny. I was just thinking about this the other day. So that's a manifestation and then um, a couple of days ago uh, the mother of the man I love do I say that correct the mother of the man the mother of the man that I love uh, I hadn't spoken to her in a while and I was thinking about her and about um, one of his sisters and um, his sister's boyfriend and I don't know, I was just thinking about them, not really, I was wondering like, ah, oh, how are they doing? Because I haven't spoken to them in a while. And then his mother contacts me, she sends me a message asking me if I uh, feel like having dinner with them in a new restaurant that has opened somewhere. So with her and her own boyfriend. And then if she should invite uh, this sister and his sister boyfriend. And I was like, this is so random. It was just so, it was just so perfect and random. And it's so proof to me that, that this stuff really works because of the constellation of the people that will be at the dinner. Yeah, you, you can't make this stuff up. As Joseph Eli says in, in one of his last videos, because he also is talking about his manifestations, and he says, you can't make this stuff up. And it's, that's, it's so cool, you can make it up. And today, someone that I met in India, um, when was I there? Last October. Someone that I met in India, I've been thinking about her a lot, but I haven't messaged her. And she sent me a message today, and I believe I didn't write it down. But I believe that I even thought it would be cool if she would message me. And there you go. So don't give up. <laughs> I missed hitting the thing. Don't give up. Keep on keeping on. I'll share videos with you that really help me. Keeping the faith. Doing the work. And remember... You can be half pregnant. You are completely pregnant or not. You can serve two masters, as Neville says. Either you believe in something or you don't. And also, not some things you manifest and some things are coincidences. I don't know if you, how you do it, but I sometimes have like, when something really amazing happens, I'm like, oh, but that must be a coincidence. What a BS. That's also manifested. I take responsibility for the crappy stuff that happens. But then when something really cool happens, I'm like, no, that must be a coincidence. Come on. No, it's not a coincidence. So go all in. Go all in. Just dare to assume, as Neville says, dare to assume you're worth it and you're amazing just like me, we're all amazing. You're me pushed out. I'm you pushed out. So um, yeah, I hope this video helps and I hope that the other videos will help you as well. And I will see you soon. Mwah. Oh, long video. <laughs> Bye.